These are my thoughts on the numbers from 0 to 100, so please enjoy. Most of the numbers between 71 and 79 are irksome to me, because they're my least favorite scores to get on a test or quiz I studied really hard for. These include 71, 73, 74, 78, and of course, the demon number 79. I missed that B by one point! I suppose the analogy of the cute couple from 67 could be applied here, but to me anyway, 76 just doesn't give me that same warm feeling. It's like the couple is still in love with each other, but there's a lot of friction between them. And although 77 is a groovy 2 -y, that merit is undone because it's the biggest mouthful of any numbers featured here, comprised of a whopping five syllables, 77. Mm. There are still a couple of likable 70s to find here. 72 is divisible by 6 and 12, so that's good. I'm also pretty fond of 75. My favorite coin is the US quarter, and I have a fun time counting how much money I have in quarters by thinking 25, 50, 75, 100. So 75 is my favorite number in the 70s range. For me, 80 is a very symbolic number because it represents what I consider the peak of human life. Although there's no set time for how long people can live, I consider 80 years to be a full and fulfilling life. From there on out, you can feel content that your life was long and wonderful, you'll have nothing to worry about, nothing to complain about, and each passing day is one to be treasured. I hope that one day, I'll be able to feel that contentment with all my friends and family, and when I think back to all the things I have experienced, I'll be smiling because I lived my life to the fullest. Not much to say about 81, but I give it props for being a perfect square. If the 70s were unlikable for being lackluster grades, the 80s are more likable for being more decent grades, and those are always appreciated. These include 82, 83, 85, 86, and 87. 84 is divisible by 7 and 12, which is also pretty good. 88 is a groovy 2 -y, and in some cases, it looks the same when flipped over. But if the bottom circle is larger than the top circle, it looks like the number is shaking its big old booty in the air. 89 is a DEMON NUMBER! 90 is fine, but by the time I get to it, I got my heart set on getting to 100. Of the numbers that remain, many of them feel like ladder steps that you have to use to get to the summit of the century. This is the case for 91, 92, 93, and 95. 94 holds a more special place in my heart, ever since I scored a 94% on a pre-calculus midterm I was studying for. It was the highest grade I ever got on a math midterm or final, and it just goes to show that as cliche as the statement is, Hard work really does pay off in the end. I credit 96 for being the only other number in this range that turns out to be the same when flipped over along with 69. But 69 is my favorite of the two because it can also make my zodiac sign. No need to get crabby now. 97 is the highest prime number in this lineup. It interests me that such a large number only has two factors. But if little Robert had to learn about prime numbers with 97 blocks instead of 43, he would have lost all of his marbles. 98 carries the same strenuous excitement about being just seconds away from approaching 100 that I feel when I get to 8 when counting to 10, and I'll give it a bonus point for being divisible by good old lucky number 7. I have mixed feelings about 99. I'm not sure whether to like it for being a groovy 2 -y or hate it for being a demon number. It reminds me of the angel and demon boss from Cuphead, so I'll say I'm meh about it. And finally, 100. I like this number for two reasons, one being that it's yet another perfect square, and two being that by the time you reach it, you feel the most satisfied, and you can let out a triumphant WAHOO!